match, you can expect to watch those heroes and see if BSP can make it work. Because for the first time today in uh, this uh, Group B qualifying uh, tournament, ngayon lang natin na itang medyo nag-iba, di ba? Kanina, three rounds sila, three games. Three games. Pero pahalos pareho yung lineup ngayon, medyo nag-adjust. Yes, that is true. Uh, BSP ngayon, medyo nakakaroon ng onting suntukan dito sa may middle lane. Boom, eSports naman, medyo naging reactive, but still, they got Jake the Dog out. And that is one of the things na kailangan bantayan dito ng Boom eSports. Kasi, for the side of BSP, they really want to do well as early as possible. Yun yung specialty nila dito, just because they have the ground. They want to do uh, just an explosive start, which they did not do in uh, their first uh, series today. Mm -hmm. In the first series today, they have download games, sila, which shows uh, possibly how versatile BSB could be. But my friends, check it out on the side of Boom Esports. It's already stabilized. Na po. It looks like D needs to go back home. Muna, recall to recover. You can't win si Jake if you're going to die. Let's introduce our players. One minute into the game, it's Bimo on that farsa. Si Rio ang ating ling. Jake the Dog on the Bruno D. On that high loss, Achasi Liva yang ating Johan. For the side of BSB, it's going to be Cap One on the Grok Wilson as a Thumbs, Jirax, Nukari, Shider Cutie as the Esmeralda, and Trevor as the Diggy. Alamo yung laning natin ngayon, Leo, hindi din ganon ka defined. Kasi umi ikot ikot talaga yung mga players dito. Again, ago wan nila is ini iwas sila si Jake the Dog dun sa combination na meron dito yung Kari sa kayo yung Diggy. Para, alam mo yun, napakahirap kasi. Isipin mo ah, may marksman ka na kayang alalayan ng isang digi tapos kapag kasinubukan mo siya i-go, double damage pa yung mangyari. Pero di dito, falling very low. He will go down. And that is going to be the first kill of the game. BSB. Ano man sabi mo doon, Leo? Pero sumasagot pa sila dito. It um, looks like it's gonna be an extended team fight even early on. Trevor looking really low. Ito si Rio pumasok na with the Blades. The Tempest of Blades. Mukhang magbabayad siya. Jiraxnu. Naniningil na. That's 2-0. Four hour marksman on the side of BSP. Mo ang magre reset mo na sila dito. Boom down on their back foot. Down about two thousand gold. Make that almost three. Pero butters, I said nung game one, nung series one natin, yung BSP sila yung medyo wiser team. Pero ngayon mo kasi lang naman yung mas lalong hap sila yung mas lalong hap dito sa ating series. What can you say about that? Boom Esports dito, I think that was a fight that they didn't really want to take. Rio should have been happy na, alam mo yun, hindi siya kasama dun sa mga casualty in the first place. But he went in, tried to go for Trevor, and Trevor dito, they were really ready for Rio. So, ang nangyari is, nabigyan lang na extra lamang dito, yung side ng BSB. Muntik na mag part 2 yung laban na yun. Muntik na mag part 2. Muntik na mag part 2. Glorious pathway, saktong lapag lang. By your boy D. Hindi na ako magkukuya D kasi may iba tayong kilalang kuya D. Oo, may iba akong kilalang kuya D. Sakto lang yun, Glorious Pathway. And of course, that retreat, ikokonvert ng BSB sa libreng turtle. But here comes Levi facing down Shider, QT, Trevor, and Wilson. And there is a defensive feathered airstrike para nang mag-clear ng waves. Para mapilitan to si Cap 1 na mag-back off. Pumasok sa likod ng tore niya. And it looks like... Finally, ang Boomy Sports, meron silang offensive. And Rio dito. Mm. Biting off more than he can chew. But right now, onto the bottom lane. Meron din po siya nangyayari dito. D, just trying to defend this as much as possible. Jake the Dog. Ito yung hirap sa kanya ngayon. Hindi siya makapag-farm with the peace of mind na hindi siya mapapatay in any way. Kanina pa siya naghahanap dito. Even the Crab Coin hindi niya dito ma-secure para sa sarili niya. Hanggang pangarap lang siya, sinisipa-sipa lang niya. Kung baga tinitikman-tikman lang niya. If anything, natutulungan niya pa yung kalaban. Oh. And here we see Jake getting chased down by Cap 1. Off-screen kill. Down bottom, it's D. Chider Cutie gets him down. And Cap 1 gonna be backing off here. But that's all he could do. Hindi nila mapatay yung mga members ng BSB. Pero naipupushback nila. I was gonna say, Butters, tama ano sinabi mo? Na yung Grok at saka yung Diggy, mm -hmm. it's going to be uh, significant in this matchup. Under 5 minutes in here. Nakikita natin na si Jake the Dog, sabi natin si Kuya D, Uh, or sorry, si D. Uh, <laughs> man, kasi respect, I respect him. He's, he's a great support hero uh, player. But I gotta say, uh, si D, yung high loss, maganda siya sa team fights. Yes. Pero when it comes to babysitting, medyo mahirap uh, asahan ng isang high loss. Especially with the kind of uh, game that Jake wants to have. Uh, one of the things then na uh, you have to take into consideration here is what is the nature of the tanks na pinipili dito 
ng mga teams. Pero right now, we are having a clash. Feathered Airstrike is there. And Cap 1 dito, walang pakialam <laughs> sa Feathered Airstrike. Pero Rio on the other side, Tempest Blades will be used. Nandun siya na pinakalikod, he will just dash out. And going back to what I was saying earlier, you have to learn or you have to know the nature of these tanks. Kasi may mga tanks dito tayo tinatawag na talagang uma-advance sila, nandun sila sa likod, gusto nila na hold down nila yung mga course. Meron naman talagang mga frontliners lang na ayaw iwanan or pinoprotektahan talaga yung mga nasa backline. So, I feel na for Boom Esports, they really have those uh, tanks na parang pumapasok doon para i-hug out yung mga course na yep. kalaban. Yep. And BMO dito doesn't really have that, uh, alam mo yun, parang tulong Bye. na aalalayan siya kapag ka medyo nasa alanganin siya. Yeah, and uh, I guess Mega what we can kill. see from uh, the past okay. six minutes going into this, down goes the BMO. Um, is uh, yung high loss dito na dapat kung tama oh. yung nangyayari if it's uh, kung naaayon siya sa plano ng boom is dapat pumapasok siya ng sa stand pero ang nangyayari mm -hmm. nag-go his pathway tumatakbo nagde-defend so oh. the, they're put on their back foot here it's very hard for Jake the Dog to make any money in this kind of uh, economic landscape sabihin natin Econo medyo, merong ano eh merong uh, Meron siya, nahihirapan siya. Yung oh, pinis na nahihirapan. Yes, yes. Kitang-kita uh, naman dito kung paano talaga pinapahirapan na itong BSB, itong side ng Boom Esports. Pero Wilson dito, oh, popping out that vengeance and look at the heals. Levi dito, hindi makontrol yung damage niya but this is a 4v1 and that is going to be a kill. BSB dito, yes, they are making the right place pero alam mo yon hindi siya nawawala ng mistakes eh. Meron pa rin mistakes na nakapagbigay sila ng mga unnecessary kills. But the right now, another glorious pathway. What is happening? Reverse time is there. Pero Trevor dito, nagtago na lang sa brush kasi takot din siya sa feathered airstrike. Pero may feathers din siya. Pareho silang may ibon. Pareho silang may ibon. Hindi, technically isa ibon. Yung isa owl, yung isa peacock. Oh, peacock. Oh, tama naman. Tama naman. Here we see now, Cap 1 trying to bother Rio and Levi pero mo ang magiging equal na ang labanan is a 2 on 2 situation gawin mo nang 5 on 2 and uh, BSB here the smarter play lalayo muna sila kulang sila doon and up comes the turtle is this the second turtle of the game? this is the second turtle of the game okay. uh, ano naman napansin ko dito Leo is yung lineup dito ng Boom Esports they're really taking a lot of uh, resources or manpower para lang makapagsecure ng isang buff para makapagsecure ng isang turret Yun yung difference sila dito sa side ng BSB. Yung BSB kasi para may confidence pa. Mm -hmm. Masulit yung bawat galaw ng oh. BSB. Konting, konting galaw lang, may nangyayari na. Pero, And here we go, down bottom. As we were saying, konting galaw lang. Buang si Shider Cutie, nasobrahan siya. Down he goes. Coming up next, Wilson with the counter inferno. Not gonna be enough. Jake the dog. Sipa lang na sipa ng bola. Baba out muna siya. Here comes the Guardian's Barrier. Pero mukhang hindi yun sapat. Trevor and Cap 1. Double support. There goes the time journey. Rio with the Blades of Tempest. Kukulangin siya. Pagsak sabi ni Jerax. No. And that is going to be a 1 for 2 trade. Mag Jake the Ang BSB. Make that 3 for 2. Sabi nila. Yung piso nyo kulang pa. Gagawin and natin dyan. Masyado silang pilit Trevor dito. Nagpumilit sa robot, kinalabad yung manok Pero right now, Jiraxo dito Really just having a great time Taking everyone down from the side of Boom Esports uh, Take note lang, naka-electro flash siya Hindi siya dito naka-bounty hunter If yung 17 siya yung bounty hunter, I think Tapos na tayo dito <laughs> Pero Butters, okay lang din yung Electro Flash. Yes. Kasi it gives uh, Jerax no, the mobility and the sustainability. Mawawala yung uh, 4 kills niya dyan or 7 kills niya dyan kung oh. hindi siya naka-Electro Flash. But, hindi uh, siya magsasurvive. Yes. The thing is, kaya lang siya nagkakaroon ng dueling capability na ganito kaganda early on is because of that extra movement speed na nakukuha niya. And the HP region. Yes. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, ito na po ang pagbabalik ng Marksman Emblem. Kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, some players like Jake the Dog would prefer uh, Bounty Hunter. Pero tinan dito, Levi biting the dust. Kahit na muntik na siya matulungan ni Bimo doon. A defensive feathered airstrike, not enough to save the jawhead. Down he goes. Medyo binisita yata siya ng tatlong membro ng BSB Kubao. As we were talking about it, mga ibigan, balik tayo sa discussion. Bounty Hunter versus Electro Flash. Um, dati, when it, uh, when, nung uh, mga araw na pwede pang mag-farm freely at biglang lumabas nila para pumatay, okay pa yung Bounty Hunter. Oh, so, pero Rayo dito, pumasok na siya doon. And this might be a kill. Yes, it will. Shider Cutie, nakita siya dito in the Falling Star Moon, will be used to take him down. Hindi nasasulit ni Rayo yung uh, Bounty Hunter. And, uh, 
to be honest, kaya nagigets ko din naman kung bakit talaga kinuha ni Jirax no dito yung kanyang Electro Flash. Pero mamaya natin pag-usapan yan, there might be a fight that will happen in a bit, pero hindi nakokontest dito yung Boom Esports. Okay. The thing about the Electro Flash dito kay Jirax no, I think uh, ang sinabi niya lang dito is mas malakas talaga yung early game dito ng side ng Boom Esports just because they have the Farsa, they have the Link. And uh, the Bruno versus oh. Harry, mas, mas mabilis na respond yung Bruno. Oh, mas, nakabilis na, mas mabilis na respond yung Bruno. But you have to think about it like this. Inisip mo Jirax na dito, mag electro flash na lang ako. Kasi kung hindi ko din naman kaya humabol ng maaga sa team fight, hindi ko rin magagamit, hindi ko rin masusulit yung bounty hunter. Oo. Which yung... is, ang nakakatawa pa, ang, hindi naman nakakatawa, pero ang nakaka, pag, uh, ano mo yun, nakakalito pa, or misteryo, na si Ryu pa dito yung naka-bounty hunter, at siya pa, yung hindi gumamit. Hindi pa nakagamit ng sulit. Yep, and uh, again, I think that's because of how BSB used their movements on the map. Check this out, Trevor looking really low. Here comes the glorious pathway. Kumaatok na sa bahay ng Boom. Pero si Jake the Dog. BSB. Jake the Dog. Lumabas si Jake the Dog. Ay pansin, nasa gilid siya. Umigot muna. And there is a defensive feathered air strike. Papasok! Oh and my goodness! Shider QD with the oh power. Oh my power. goodness! Jerax no ngayon. Pumufocus sa mga heroes. Making sure na wala na pipigil sa pagdepensa dito. Wilson, thank you so much. Mag-aantay na na sila ng minion wave. And ladies and gentlemen, ano po? 12 minutes in. This is BSB taking game one. Probably one of the fastest games na meron tayo dito ngayon sa ating qualifiers. Boom Esports.